<laughs> Hi, this is the G3 Live restaurant review show, and I'm Gail, your host. And this is... I'm Paula, your co-host. And what we got some food in there? Yes, we do. We actually uh, cater to vegans, and they also have vegan dessert. I'm dying to go inside and see. I'm hungry. Let's go eat. Let's do this. Now that we're inside Roots Bistro, take a look around here and look at this gorgeous restaurant. Now that you've seen the inside of the restaurant here, I tell you what, this is a gorgeous restaurant over here. I'm in what love. You love? Ready? I mean, we're down here in Montrose. That's where we're at. Where we're at? 507. Uh, 507 West Westheimer. Yeah, yes, exactly. And uh, it's air. We, they have air conditioning here. They hey. do have AC. I like this. <laughs> and a wine bar. <laughs> and a wine bar, exactly. This is going to be awesome. Uh, I've never eat. Uh, at a restaurant that have had organic food before. Have you? No, I haven't. I love my beef, but I tell you what, from the things I've seen on the menu, I do believe that I'm going to fall in love. Oh, I am too. This is going to be great tonight. I love it. I just can't wait to jump into some food here. Can I tell you what I'm about to try? Ooh, tell me. Okay, it's the bacon lover's hors d'oeuvre, although, of course, uh, it's uh, vegan. But uh, the smoked baby zucchini. Is that it right there? And it's uh, served with a black garlic romesco sauce and it looks fabulous so like i said it's a bacon lovers dish so i'm sure that uh, somehow or another they uh, made a way to make it taste like bacon i don't know <laughs> but i can't wait to try oh, it try out. now what i have here is i have a cedar smoke edizabal this is uh like a uh, cheese right here and we have honeycomb texas honeycomb on top right here as you see that they put this right here so we're fit to try our food out let's try it out and Can see we? what it tastes like yeah yeah let's you try sure? it yes exactly mm -hmm. this looks good i don't know if i'm gonna let you have any of mine i'm not <laughs> sure i'm not mm. sure mm. couple of fried eggs and it is bacon no i'm just joking this now is this, this is fabulous does this taste like it does taste like cheese, and it's been seared on top, meaning it was smoked and all. And and if you notice right here, we got the wood below it for the smoking right here. This is unusual. What type of plank is that? Normally, like you get a a, a certain type of plank to cook a certain type of fish or something. I think, on? I think they cut the stud out of my house. Oh, oh, that's what happened. <laughs> okay, so it's 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 Galen's plank. That's it. That's it right here. Okay. This tastes great. So. My Let's move on to entrees now. All right, we're back for our next course right here at Roots Bistro. Um, new shades. New shades. Good. New shades. It's all yep. good. Having the native. The native is wonderful soft boiled Texas quail eggs, which I've never been partial to Texas quail eggs before, only because I've never tried them. Um, Copa pea salad, uh, fresh burrata, which is a uh, ricotta and a chevre wrapped in mozzarella. I cannot wait to try it. Ooh, it looks good. It looks really good. Doesn't it? Yes. Well, you can't have any. Now, no, before before we get to my food right here, we're going to have some wine here. And this is a Pinot Noir. Uh, it's called St. Innocence. St. Innocence? Just how innocent is it? Because <laughs> I've already had just a little bit that, of something that, That's something what we're going to find out. And it's uh, this wine is out of Oregon, and uh, it's been in the barrels for about 16 months. And uh, wow! It, I tell you what, let's taste the wine. Let's do this. Cheers. I say we've hit the payload here. Yes, I do. Th this will go good with squid. This is Boston squid right here with Texas blue grits below it and all. And uh, I, I love squid. I'm always ordering squid every time I go to a restaurant. Now, I'm kind of so, jealous. What kind of sauce do you have up there? Has this it, sauce? Looks like a hand of raspberry or something. It's purple. Something like I'm fixing to find out. All right, let's do this. I'm about to bite into my first quail egg ever. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good. Not much different than a chicken egg, but <laughs> the spices, the shavra, everything, 
in combination with each other, um, I do believe we have an award winner too. Now, now think with, about this, Paula. The Copa Peas actually um, add a little extra flavor as well. Yes, yes, they do. Take a look. These are not plates. This is like slate. You know, a slate. We're exactly. eating off slate. Yeah. This is such a. Um, uh, Eclectic restaurant. You can tell the the, the art behind us is for That's sale right. as well. They have a um, a live performance, I think, venue that they're going to try to uh, start up a, a patio outdoors. The place seats a hundred. It's beautiful. I mean, and just from the slate that you're served on, it lets you know that these people mean business. And this slate is not from my roof at it's all. It's not. Not like the, <laughs> not like the no, plank. This is all clean. This is all clean. This is all good. Now I'm uh, taking a bite into the uh, the wrapped um, cheese ooh, here. Ooh, that's should so, be good. Taste that. That's like quite of a big portion there. Look. Now the, the blue grits. I've never had Texas blue grits before. I've had grits before, but not. Mm. This is Jersey cow ricotta and chevre wrapped in mozzarella. I don't know how they did ooh. this, but I'm I'm. Uh, I can't believe I have not been here before and tasted this food. This is so good. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys, you have to come try it out, not just for the atmosphere and the slate um, and the artwork, but the food is just fabulous. As you can tell how it is uh, it goes presented. Good. It goes good with the wine, a Pinot Noir. Uh, some people like Pinot Grigio. Oh, we Grigio. can't do that. Okay, so now we've had quite a cornucopia of some wonderful vegan dishes that I would never believe that I would enjoy because I'm a meat eater, but uh, I do believe I'll be coming back. Now it's pizza time, and we have to tell you about this, the Spicy Wild River King Salmon Pizza. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, golly. Oh, yeah. It's thin. We're talking thin, thin, thin. No idea. Pizza's well, the, always my favorite. Well, they don't want you to have too much uh, bread on there because it's too fattening and too filling and all. So, you know, because you, you want to have your wine, too. And it also so does want, good with red wine. That's right. Red wine. I like yes. that. Toast. All right. Uh, no, actually, this uh, is a salmon, uh, salmon puree. And, uh, oh, my God, it's beautiful. Sriracha sauce with mozzarella and of course the vegan I've got to try this out. marinara. So it's all mm. vegan. He's eating, I'm mm. talking. I want to tell all you vegans out there, please come here and uh, enjoy everything here. I have some special friends that are, uh, how do you call it when, when you eat fish but you don't eat uh, meat? I There's don't know. There's another word for it. I have no the, idea. This is the place to come. Well, Ryan should know this. I don't even know. <laughs> this is the place to come though. You know who you're talking about. You know okay. what I'm talking about, but um, uh, yeah, we got the fresh tomatoes. I can taste the fresh tomatoes on this pizza. See, okay, let's do it. Okay, yeah. can, may I? Go right ahead. Thank you. Let's try it out. Oh, this, this right. is good. Number one, uh, cutting into the crust is no problem whatsoever. Now, normally, I am a uh, pizza lover that has when I eat, when do, when I do eat pizza, thick, thick, thick. Uh, pizza of bread is like, man, I'm not filling it all, but this right. will uh, leave you uh, your stomach saying, I'm satisfied. That's, that's perfect. I'm satisfied. The salmon is perfect. I like it. I have a hint of a, is there a, something in the marinara that, that gives a little kick, almost like a Cajun thing, I'm, I'm scared to say. Um, it's, it's a little uh, spicy. Uh, spicy. Sriracha. That's it. Sriracha puree. There it's we go. Hard to eat pizza and then go right to dessert. So that's what we're fixing to do. Don't even talk about. Now that the entrees are gone by the wayside, it's dessert time. Did you like the, the entrees? I can barely fit into my. Yes, I love them. I it's did all too. Good. I did it's, too. It's wonderful. So now we well, now we have desserts, but with the dessert. What you don't normally have, a lot of people, is we have dessert dessert wine right here. This dessert wine is a Rosa Regal. It's a uh, Italian uh, wine made for desserts and all. Here, let me show you this right here. Uh, Ryan, get this right here. Uh, see what it looks like right here? It's cool. So now, a toast with dessert wine. Um, I do believe... When you do eat at a finer restaurant, you do have a different wine for every meal. Uh, each each yeah, entree. Uh, entree, exactly. So now we're moving into desserts here, and my.
co-host here, she knows all about all these desserts that we have right here that are melting before us. They, they, they certainly are. Right here before me. What do you have? Oh my goodness. I'm looking at it, and it, as, as it is melting, the, uh, it's called if watermelon. If, if watermelon could have its way. Right now, it's not having its way because it's melting. But uh, <laughs> what we're having here is the watermelon crumble with the watermelon gelée top on top of a honeycomb. Now, this you see right here is actually honey. I can put my finger in it, and it's like hardening as we speak. So as you eat it on the slate that we spoke about earlier, it makes it even more fun to get to like break into the slate and, and get the crumble. Also, um, huh, the, the, uh, the watermelon sorbet over here on top of a lemonade and a, a homemade granola. Talk, oh, look, talk about your health food stuff over here. Oh, it's so good tonight. It's like, man, I can't wait. I'm, I'm telling you, uh, I... No, what, what, what do you have I'm over happy. here? Okay, the Huckleberry Study is what we have over here. I chose that for him because it sounded a little more down home, kind of yes. like he is, right? You yes. know, yeah, wrong, sorry. <laughs> anyway, classiest man I know that changes sunglasses every time he changes wines. Exactly. So anyway, the Huckleberry Study consists of a sorbet with huckleberry jerky. Okay, ask me about... It's light, it's light, sir it's light tasting. Really like tasting. That's good. Mm. And on side, it's some apple sorbet. Ooh. Okay. Come on. The sorbet. I will taste by this. Taste. Actually, this was sorbet. Apple cinnamon sorbet. Ooh. And I demand. And of course, we've got some uh, some orange rind mm. on the top. It's and now, it's, it's now time to end the show. Time to toast. Time to toast, Paula. I'm, right I'm here. not the reading. We're ending the show now. This is the end of the G3 Live Restaurant Review. We are so glad that you got to enjoy watching us, Galen, your host, and Paula Guidry, our co-host for the evening. So, ciao for now. <laughs>